right, this recording was a little, uh, it was a little longer coming. I, I just didn't get to it. So, but I want to make sure it's, it's in the record. So I'm going to jump back here and, um, and this week was about sobbing bedtimes and evolved stick figures and my four-year-old. So uh, if I start bedtime, even a minute past eight o'clock, it quickly goes to the dark side in our house. Um, my son hasn't napped in quite some time, which is almost never a problem. It just works for us and works for him. Unless we cross that eight o'clock line and then it can get pretty ugly pretty fast. He's, you know, carry me to the bathroom. Do I have to brush my teeth? I don't want to pee. My legs don't work. I'm toast. And then the dreaded like crying and sobbing begins and evolves into sometimes screaming and crying. So truth be told, this is not a common occurrence, gratefully, because I've learned my lesson, but it doesn't change the fact that um, these bedtimes or any bedtimes, I, I don't like bedtime. <laughs> I hate bedtime. <laughs> it's like my least the favorite thing about parenting, which some people love. Um, so there, I said it, you know, call me that mama. Um, if you've listened to the podcast, you may have heard me say it before, uh, Creating Wealth and Wellness with Tara. I know I've talked about it there before. And I know super moms out there are cringing um, at this, this declaring of my hate of bedtime, but it's true. I always have. Um, all three kids, 13 plus years, and I've dreaded bedtime almost every single night. So just for clarity's sake, that's over 4,700 bedtimes, and I really haven't liked very many of them. <laughs> but um, the only thing that saves me really, gosh, is their cuteness, right? Um, did if you are, if you've looked at the blog um, in written form, you can see this stick figure that my son drew uh, in the in the blog page, not in YouTube, obviously. Um, and oh my heart, these kids are so stinking cute. It it they <laughs> they save me, right? Um, just because I don't like bedtime, it's pretty easy to get over that um, and really be present with them because they're amazing. So that and the, you know, beautiful things like the stick figure and the funny comments, clever ideas, chubby cheeks, and the world of discovery, the hugs, the I love yous. It's also good that I can't help but manage my way through bedtime without completely losing my mind. Um, parenting is the hardest thing I'll ever love. And here's how I manage my thoughts to stay in the game and not damage my kids too much. So <laughs> I'll walk you through the thought, I hate bedtime. Um, and I ask, who does this thought belong to? And the answer is me, but it, it maybe it's not just me. I'm guessing that there's a few other struggling moms out there whose energy I'm connecting with and that I'm not the only one who does not look forward to bedtime. Um, what purpose does this thought serve? It doesn't really serve any purpose to declare that I hate bedtime. Um, so yeah, that's that. It, it said, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. Um, when am I ready to release the thought? <laughs> Maybe when my youngest is 10 uh, or sooner, if possible, I'll try. Um, where do I need to put the thought next? And ideally, I need to ship it out to see. I need to get rid of it because like I said, it doesn't really serve me even if it, it does feel like my truth. It, it's not helping me to think that way. Why am I giving the thought power? Um, because it's a powerful thought. Hate is a really nasty vibration, um, but I know that I can combat it with love, and, and that's what I do. So how can my why and or purpose lead me to my next action? My why is growth, and growth asks me to love over hate. Um, it asks me to release what I want and be present for what my kids need. Growth reminds me that this won't last forever and that someday I'll long to read books and snuggle with them um, and they'll be big and grown and um, I'll miss those days. And growth says, follow your heart, mama, not your ego mind that, that's screaming hateful thoughts. So this work is everything. Um, I believe in you and I will see you again soon. 
My goal is your growth, so I hope this was helpful to you. Please do reach out and let me know. And remember that we can work one-on-one -on -one together in the nine-week Live Your Why coaching program. You can find the link to that on the website. You can also listen to our co-hosted podcast, Creating Wealth and Wellness, free on iTunes or here on the website. And if you're interested in building residual income, check out the Join Our Networking family link. Until next time, keep doing that thought work. I believe in you.